If you've been in and around the world of Framer, you've probably heard about Framer plugins. Framer plugins are these really powerful tools and integrations that are accessible directly on the Framer canvas that you can use to take your designs and workflow to the next level. So in this video, I wanted to show you seven of the best free Framer plugins that I've been using personally over the past few weeks and have really changed the way that I design in Framer. I've added links to all of the plugins in the description below for you to check out. So without further ado, my name's Hamza, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first plugin that I wanna talk about is CMS Export. Now, this is one of the plugins that I was really excited about personally, because as a Framer template creator, I deal with a lot of different projects and by extension, CMS collections. And previously, if you wanted to move or copy a CMS collection from one site to another, you'd basically have to go in and manually copy and paste the entire collection over. And as you can imagine, doing this time and time again can get super tedious. And so what the CMS export plugin allows you to do is exactly what it says in the tin. It allows you to export your entire CMS collection as a CSV file so that you can import it wherever you want. Let me show you how it works. Open up your project inside of Framer and head over to the CMS tab. Then head over to the new plugins tab and from there you want to find CMS export. Once it loads, simply select your collection and click export. From there, you can save the file wherever you want and that's it your entire CMS collection will be saved to a CSV file. And to upload the collection to another Framer project, open up the new project, head back to CMS and create a new collection. And before we go and import the CSV, we need to prep the collection by adding in all the fields that our exported collection has. For example, our exported collection had all of these fields. So you have to go back to your new project, click edit fields and start adding in all of those fields with the exact same names to ensure that everything gets mapped properly. Once done, you can click out and head over to the plugins tab and click on CSV import. Find the exported file and just like that, the entire CMS collection has been imported perfectly. Honestly, this plugin can save you hours of work, especially if you're someone like me who deals with a lot of different projects and a lot of different CMS collections. All right, so the next plugin that I wanna talk about is Lottie Files. Now, if you're someone like me that likes to add animations to their website to spice things up a bit, then this plugin is a must have in my opinion. Using Lottie animations are great because they're really lightweight, which means that they load super quickly and they look crisp on all screen sizes, which is something that you'll definitely appreciate for your websites. Okay, so to get started with Lottie files, head over to the plugins tab, find Lottie files and that will open up the interface where you can browse their massive library of animations. When you find an animation you like, just click on it and you can tweak it however you like. You can change the speed, loop it, or you can even change the colors to match your brand. Then simply click insert animation and it will instantly be added to your project. Really, really cool. In the Lottie Files library, there are over 500,000 animations. So there's something out there for pretty much any type of project. Plus with the free plan, there's no reason not to give it a go. Next up, we've got a real time saving plugin called Tidy Up. Okay, so if you're anything like me, after working on a project for a while, especially a bigger one, things can start to get a little bit messy. Layers all over the place, elements not properly aligned and things like that. But that's where I found this plugin to be really useful. In just a couple clicks, you can organize all of your layers and really clean up your project. Let me show you how it works. Open up your project and highlight the layers you want to clean up. Then head over to the plugins tab and click on tidy up. From there, you can choose how you want everything to be organized. And boom, all your layers are perfectly aligned and spaced in just a click. This plugin has saved me a lot of time when it comes to staying organized. So definitely check it out if you want to keep your projects nice and clean. Now let's talk about the fourth plugin on this list, Spell Checker. This one's pretty straightforward, but super important nonetheless. No matter how great your website looks, spelling mistakes can really take away from the professionalism of your site. I've been guilty of leaving typos in my websites and that's partly down to me, but it's also partly down to the way that Framer handles spell check. You see, in Framer, that little red squiggly line only appears when you're typing in a text box. So if you're not clicked into a text box, you'd never know there's a spelling mistake and so it can be really easy to just not notice it. But that's where the spell checker plugin can come in real handy. Let me show you how it works. Open up your project and head over to the plugins tab and click on spell checker. Once the plugin loads, it will instantly show you all of the spelling mistakes on your website and you can fix them all in one click, which is really cool. This is another one of those small but powerful plugins that can save you a lot of time in the long run, so definitely check it out. Next up, we've got another really handy plugin called Logofy. If you've ever wasted a ton of time looking for logos online, downloading them, resizing them, and then importing them into your website, 
then I think you're going to like this one. This plugin makes that whole process so much easier. Let me show you how it works. Open up your project, head over to the plugins tab and click on Logify. From there, search and click on any logo and it will be inserted directly onto the canvas. And that's it. They're completely ready to go and you can resize them however you need and add them to your site. This is one of those plugins that can really simplify your workflow in a big way, especially if you're someone that constantly works with brand logos. All right, let's move on to the sixth plugin, Lumi. And this one has been a game changer for me personally. Now you've probably heard of Unsplash, right? Huge, great library of stock images. But have you ever felt like some of the images on there can feel a little bit just too stock imagey? Well, that's where I found Lumi to be super useful. Let me show you. Open up your project, head over to the plugins tab and click on Lumi. From there, you can search for photos, illustrations, or 3D renders. And I've got to say, these look incredible and can really help your website stand out from the rest. And by now you know the drill. Simply choose an image you like and it'll be inserted into your project and you can resize and do whatever else you need to do. So yeah, this plugin is great if you want to get away from that traditional stock image vibe. And again, it's completely free to use, so definitely give it a go. And last but not least, we've got a great plugin called Type System. Now, if you've ever found yourself spending way too much time setting up textiles and making sure that your text is consistent across your project, then I think you're going to love this one. What this plugin does is that it allows you to instantly create fully responsive textiles for your entire project so that you don't have to manually go in and tweak all of your fonts to make sure everything looks good. Let me show you how it works. Open up your project, head over to the plugins tab and find type system. From there, select the scale, font and anything else you want to tweak and hit generate textiles and all of your textiles will be generated in one go and that's it. You can see all of your generated textiles under the styles column in the assets tab. So yeah, this plugin is perfect if you want to speed up your workflow and keep your textiles consistent across your entire project. I've been using these plugins for a few weeks now and honestly, they've made a huge difference in terms of how quickly and efficiently I'm putting together my websites on Framer. I've linked all of the plugins in the description below so that you can get to them easily. I really hope you found this video useful and I'll check you in the next one.